Our project title is Trace Analysis and Area Safety Prediction, and the team number is Hong Ji, Wang Hongli, and Long Long. So this is the overview of our project. Since Trace has become a very efficient method to reflect people's mood, we will extract features from Trace and classify each tweet into positive or negative groups. And then we will use these collected data to reflect the order of a specific area. We found a lot of open source public data of crime from the website, and we find the correlation between trees and local safety. Accordingly, we will predict the local safety factor and recommend the police force. So here is the main technology we used. When we extract the data and get all the data, we use the Treat API and TreatPy. And when we analyze the data, the main technology we use is Sparks. Finally, we use the D3 to make the visualization of our results. OK, so we have two different kinds of data set for this project. So the first kind of data is uh, open public safety data that can be found on open city websites of some major cities. Um, so basically the data set records all the crimes and incidents that reported to um, police departments and the data set are maintained by the government. Um, some key information we used in our project including date, time, incident types and some uh, incident geolocations well, which can be later used with the Twitter geolocations. Um, so the other kind of data are tweets. So tweets are just like Twitter posts, uh, and we use the Twitter API and the Twitter API to co collect those tweets uh, that sent that was sent out from certain uh, locations from our selected cities. Um, so we have a little tool called bounding box here. Uh, so we basically draw a box for our select cities, and then we can get the coordinates of those boundaries, uh, which can be later used in our program as filtering options options to collect streaming tweets um, that were sent out from those areas. Finally, we dump the tweets into JSON format for later analysis. So there will be the demo of our project. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the project visualization result, and the left tab shows for major states and the city data that we analyzed. Uh, so here is California, New York City, Chicago, and Seattle data. And the data source section includes a link to open source uh, data set we found and the dump to trees sample we used in this project. For example, in the California data section, we use this drop down menu uh, to select which dimension you want to analyze. So here is trace segment and the crime data dimension. And when you click the analyze button, you will get the result. So here for the California treat segment analysis. Since our tweets we get does not cover every region of this state, the blue region denotes the blank part, and the orange part represents the prediction rate. And the darker the region is, and safer the region is. When you move the mouse over the region, you can get the name of this region. Then you can choose the crime data to analyze. So. Uh, all the data are from the public data graph, and uh, we combine the, these two data to make some prediction. Similarly, the darker the region is, we will recommend more police force for that region. So, our learning process includes three, uh, three steps. The first day is feature extraction, and we use Unigram to extract uh, the information we need from all the text uh, labels. And the second part is uh, we use Spark to do some tree algorithm on the training data set. And the training data set we use is uh, 
the data set we download from Michigan University, which uh, there is a lot of businesses and with their corresponding labels represent the businesses positive or negative. And finally, we will make some prediction on the statistic trees that we have constructed. And also the result is here and you have shown before and we the method we combine our prediction results with the uh, actual crime data is that we uh, multiply the crime data in a specific area with the, correspondingly the prediction result we predict for this area. For example, if we predict that this area is pretty dangerous and uh, we will multiply their crime rate into with a, with a relative high numbers and so this is the result we have got. And also there is something that we still need to do or uh, consider more seriously. And the first is the feature method is whether we choose background, unigram, or some combination of this uh, visualization method. And considering time, and we only try uh, unigram in our project, but actually we should try more if we have more time. And also the second part is that we we just use decision tree to classify our uh, training labels and uh, use this decision tree to predict. Actually, if we can use uh, linear regression or logistic regression before we build our machine learning algorithm, we can maybe use some binary classification algorithms or even more if we know how to use neural network on this, uh, on this text, we can maybe get better prediction results. So the final, finally, is that the, uh, the capitalization method about the correlation between trees and crime rates is pretty simple, and we, we just use some multiplication and to calculate the result. But actually, we can consider it more seriously, maybe to find a more uh, precise correlation between the prediction result and trace result. And this is all three things that maybe we can do in the future. And that is all the uh, demo of our project.